So today I'm going to use a sprayer on my garden. The cool thing is today instead of using it to kill stuff, I'm going to use it to apply more life to the garden. We're going to be applying liquid indigenous microorganisms to the garden. When we look at a lot of the problems we face in gardening, and I don't know about you, but there's bugs, there's diseases, there's all sorts of health issues with my plants that I can face at times. And a lot of tradition, a lot of conventional agriculture today approaches it with the idea of if there's something alive on my plant, let's kill it. And so it's all about sides, you know, S C I D E S, something about has to do with death, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, all that type of stuff. And unfortunately, even in the organic natural approach, we can still get, you know, organic herbicides or organic pesticides and organic fungicides that aren't this great, you know, but you're still doing the same thing. You're still killing the life that's there, even if you're using a more natural um, product. So it's been neat as I've learned over the past several years that a lot of the problems that my plants face is not a uh, too much life. Um, it may be too much of the wrong type of life, but the problem is an imbalance uh, and not having enough diversity of life there. And so I think it's neat that really God's way of addressing a lot of these problems um, is, is where we, we add more life. The solution is more life, not death. And you think, you know, it's, that seems consistent to me with God's nature. You know, the solution is not more and more death, 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 death. Um, but it's life, adding more life, and that produces it. And it doesn't mean that there's not times that we can kill things that are there. We don't live in a perfect world, and there's going to be times that we manage stuff. If I, have, if I haven't done a good job, and my plants are not healthy like they should be yet, and there's something coming in eating them, then I might use a soap spray or something that's going to kill, unfortunately, you know, the, the aphids that are on the plants. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm realizing that's not the solution. That's not what actually fixes the problem with aphids. The aphids are just telling me that something is wrong with my plant. Uh, but one of the ways that I like to think of the, the, microbe, the microbes in my soil and on my plants is that um, the, one of the best ways to protect against the bad, bad microbes is through a diversity of a lot of microbes. And so it's, think about what, where you would feel more safe. Uh, in a big city? Would you feel safer in a busy street with lots and lots of people or in a back alley where it's empty? Well, most of us would say probably on the busy street. Even though there might be bad people on that busy street, they're, most, they're less likely to do something bad to you because there's a lot of people that would prevent them from doing that around. And whereas on a back alley, even if it's a, a weak, wimpy kind of criminal that might try to mug you, nobody's there to stop them. So the same thing on our plants. We want to make sure that the you know pathogens are typically a weaker um, you know microbe in the microbial world, and if there's other uh, competition there, they can't really thrive and take over and uh, um, terrorize your plant. And so today, what we're doing with spraying on here is we're spraying liquid indigenous microorganisms. It's a Korean natural farming um, input where we've we've collected. We've cultured and propagated uh, microorganisms from our woods here on our farm. And then over the past uh, about 48 hours, I've been brewing a tea where it's uh, inducing oxygen and has a food source, some different nutritive solutions I put in there. And so hopefully we've bred a lot of good microbes and this is a living thing. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna apply it right away because immediately we stop um, the oxygenating it. Um, it's only gonna, we're gonna have a die off of all those microbes and we're gonna apply it onto our plants, onto the soil, and just until we use up all four gallons that we made. So let's come over here and look at our little bucket of tea. So what we have, we want to be brewing not anaerobic microbes, but aerobic, because they tend to be the ones that are beneficial. So we have this nice little uh, fish tank aerator here with a couple of stones. You can hear them, all the air coming out, it just diffuses it into lots of little bubbles. And unplug the sucker. There we go. These are you can get them pretty cheap at you know your local aquarium supply store or on Amazon's obviously a good place. Then we have our little tea bag here. This is just a washcloth where I put uh, some of the IMO collection, some actually IMO three, um, which is uh, again just has a lot of good indigenous microorganisms. That's what IMO stands for. Um, it's really good. I was looking back over my notes from the class that I took. It'd be great to put an aerator inside this bag, actually, right inside, so it gets air to the inside of this. Um, and I might do that next time. But I'm going to take this bag out. We're going to take this uh, 
bucket over and I'm going to strain it pour it into my sprayer over here and then we'll just compost the leftover tea bag contents here put this over the side and another thing I'm going to do um, I've had I'm growing a lot of green leafy greens and I've had issues with not having quite enough nitrogen so I'm going to add this uh, fish emulsion basically fertilizer made from kind of decomposed fish here um, I'm making some of my own but I bought that temporarily while my other stuff is is making so I'm gonna pour this through this little strainer there even kind of rinse my little measure out I'm adding it is at a one to a thousand dilution to my solution so we'll see if I can get this rag to filter our stuff. My hands are going to smell really good now. This stuff actually smells really good. Some of the nutritive solutions have things like oriental herbal nutrient berry stuff that you could basically eat yourself if you wanted to. There we go. Going through, I think that fish emulsion kind of clogged it up a little bit. So we're going to take a quick break while I filter the rest of this through. I don't think y'all want to sit there and watch me the whole time. Wire strainer is a lot faster. There we go. Got a little bit of junk at the bottom. Bad though, not too bad. All right, let's get this stuff on the garden. Alright, well I'm working still on applying our IMO here and we'll see how it affects the plants. The beauty of these things is you can't really overdo them and uh, we'll see how, uh, how the health of our plant improves over the winter and the rest of the year, so hope to keep you updated. <laughs> 